Okay, we're going to start video four with another new feature, Smart Notebook 11. What you can do before now with sounds, you always could insert a sound, you know, something that was saved on your computer. If you wanted to record your voice or something going on, you needed to use another program like an Audacity or something along those lines. But now you can record right in Smart Notebook. And how we do that, I'm going to record myself reading this line. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the object, use my drop down arrow, and I'm going to go to sound just like I did before. You can still add your sound in, just like you always had, but you'll notice there's this new middle section. What I would do is start recording, and you can record up to one minute. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record and record me reading this line. Jim huddled under the tree as night fell and the rain began to come down. Stop recording. I can preview it. I can also select corner, ob corner icon or object. I'm going to leave this corner icon here, and I'm going to attach the recording. So now if I click on this... Jim huddled under the tree as night fell and the rain began to come down. It's me recording that, so now you have that built in. Something else they've done with Smart Notebook 11 is improve the functionality of the tables. Probably the biggest problem that people have had is moving a table, because they would start moving a table and start pulling cells out and everything would look would act a little weird. To move a table before, you had a marquee select two-thirds of the table, then you can move it wherever you wanted. Now something you can do is if you just click, on a cell, just click, not click and hold, and then I go back and click, I can now move the table around. Another thing you have now is you always could do uh, cell shades, but one thing, once you unshaded a box, you could not reshade it without right clicking um, and put the cell shade in. So now you'll notice when I click, an area stays up here. And if I click again, it reshades the cell. So something to make life a little easier. Another thing they've done, if I select my table on the inside, use my drop down, I now have this adjust size. What I can do now is force it to make every cell the same width, make everyone the same size, make cells square. So instantly made everything a square. So let's say I adjusted that, come in here, drop down, adjust size. I'm going to make everything the same height, pushes it down. So now you've got improved improvements to the table. Another thing that is starting to develop with Smart Notebook 11 is the Gallery 2.0. It's in beta right now, but also now that they've allowed widgets. Basically what widgets are are items that are going to be added to the gallery that are made by third-party vendors. And this is just one example of a new stopwatch that is available. There is the new drag here to define in dictionary. So let's say I want to define what the word stop means. I can type or write the word stop. Just drag it right into the box. And now we have stop. And then there's my definition of stop. And if I wanted, just because this is kind of like the Web 2.0 stuff before, I have my push-out box. And here's my definition typed up. Another thing I can do here is we now have a new translator. So I'm going to type the word cat in this case. And I want to translate it to Danish. So I take the word, put it in the top box, cat, and it translates it out. And I can reverse translate, so in this case translates out the same and there will be more um, items added in the near future. So that concludes our what's new in Smart Notebook 11 and look forward to future videos to talk more in depth about these features. Thank you.